Doctor's Delight is based on another thrilling adventure of H. Ashton Wolfe, former member of the French Detective Police, which will appear in next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly, the magazine distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. Front page dramas are produced in the studios of the General Broadcasting Company. Two men are the sole occupants of the office marked the Bureau of Detective Police. One of them, H. Ashton Wolf, sits gnawing idly at a thumbnail, while the other, Dr. Bertillon, paces nervously back and forth. Finally, he throws himself into a chair. I'm tired, terribly tired. Because I've succeeded more by good luck than cleverness in clearing up one or two mysteries, people seem to think I'm infallible, Ashton Wolf. What on earth is there to investigate in a case like this? I suppose you're referring to the strange death of that painter chap. Yes, and that member's alludium, found under similar conditions. Dr. Mupa thinks they died from natural causes, and I'm inclined to agree with him. There's only one thing that makes it appear... Uh, who could that be? Uh, see who it is, will you? Right-ho, Bertillon. Are you the chief of police? Not exactly, but I'm one of his assistants. Then maybe you can help me. May I come in? Why, certainly. What is it, Ashton Wolf? Oh, this young lady. Uh, she seems in need of our help. In what way? Uh, speak up, miss. We're busy men. You find lost girls here, do you not? Well, we haven't found any here for a long time. Are you lost? Stop your clowning, Ashton Wolf. Who's lost, young lady? My friend, Eugene. We are from the same musical show, La Vichy. That is, we were, but she has not showed up for the past couple of nights, so she was replaced today. Maybe she's visiting a sweetheart somewhere. Oh, no, 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 Miss Fury. We didn't have no sweetheart. Perhaps she skipped off home to visit her family. Oh, no, she could not have done that. She has not got any family. Have you any idea where your friend might possibly be? Well, I did have, Monsieur, but I've looked everywhere before coming here. Nadine was nowhere to be found. Well, give this gentleman here a description of her and a description of how she was dressed when last seen, and we'll send out a tracer. Oh, merci, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I'll answer that, Sir Walter. Oh, very well. Uh, now then, mademoiselle, if you would just give me a few details. Hello? Yes? This is pretty, huh? What? Yes. Where? Go on. Uh, how was she dressed? Yes? Any marks of identification? Any scars? Operation for mastoid? Is that all? I'll be right along. Here we are, Bertillon. All the data on Medine Dupre. And now, mademoiselle... Oui, monsieur. My advice to you is to run along home and don't worry. Your friend will probably be home herself oh. by now. Oh, I hope so, monsieur. I've done everything I can to find her. This is up to officers of the police now. Hold on a minute, uh, mademoiselle. Oui, monsieur. This is the description of your friend? Oui. Just as she looked when she walked out of the stage door with me the night before last. Did she ever have an operation? Uh, oui, monsieur. A mastoid operation. But the scar did not show through the makeup. Mastoid? I thought it must be she. What are you talking about, Bertillon? Well, while you were getting this description, Ashton Wolf, I was getting another of a girl who has just been found. Oh, Nadine? Was it Nadine, monsieur? I think so. Oh, where is she? Let me go to her. Oh, I'm so glad to hear she's safe. Hey, mademoiselle, I suppose like most Paris actresses, you and your friend used to visit some of the exciting night spots? Oh, but of course, who does not? We shall want you to take us tonight to those you have visited lately. Will you do that? Yes, certainly. And can we even come to? Unfortunately, no. But, but why not? You just said they had found her. That is true, mademoiselle. They found her dead. Oh, recognize any of the people in this place, mademoiselle? No, monsieur. Although we used to come here many times, I do not see anyone I know. Well, we'll wait a few more minutes and then try the next on the list. Someone may come in. Here, here, now, you must be brave. You mustn't cry. I know. But when I think of poor me being stretched out... Come, and... come, now, think no more about it. We must find out how she was murdered, you know. This just don't work. Your Dr. Bettignon did not think she had been murdered. I know. She apparently died suddenly and mysteriously of heart failure. But that's exactly the way those other two died. I feel sure there's something queer behind it. But what can we do coming to an apache den? This is where we can pick up all sorts of information. Oh, now, you must play up for me, mademoiselle, or our disguise will fail. Oh, I will try, monsieur. I'm not sorry. by that name here. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course not. Oh, here comes the Sparrow. Leading and I used to know him. Ask him to join us. Sparrow! Uh, Sparrow! Yes? Hey, come over here. Bonsoir, we haven't met for a long time. Eh? No, will you not join us? My friend here will not mind, will you, mon cherry? Of course not. Sit down, Sparrow. How do you know my name? Oh, didn't I hear my cherry call you over here? Oh. Well, my belle, so you pretty little friend is gone. Well, eh? Oui, 
Oh, was it not terrible? Where did she go there in the first place? What's that? Go where? She did not know she was going. I knew nothing but that she left me in the dressing room at the theater and said good night. Uh, she must have been invited to party there, eh? Some weird party it must have been. I wouldn't want to be in on it. What are you talking about, Sparrow? Why, there is two devils experimenting with new ways to finish off unlucky ones. My woman went up there to clean the house. She told me she was lucky to get away herself. Tell us some more. Where is this place? Where should I tell you? I've got my own eyes on their strong back. And my woman, she tell me where they keep it. If I can ever get past the traps. Traps? We oui. They have wolf traps hidden all over the garden. And bells attached to the wall. I know. I've spent many a night watching the place and... Hearing the wheel howls. Look here, Sparrow. From what you say, one man can't pull that job. Suppose I get a pal and the three of us get in there. Très bien. Play fair, and I'm easy to get along with. But none of you won't get away with this swag yourselves. If you do, I'll cut your hearts out. See? There are bells attached to the wall. That's right. Like sleigh bells. Be careful when they climb over. <whistles> you hear that? It gives you the creeps. I'll stand guard. Now, you two go on in. Ready. Give me a hand. Up, I go. All right, Sparrow. All right. Come on up. That's the wolf. I'll give you ten minutes after you get in. I've got my men planted all around here. If you don't come out, in we come. Right you are. Good luck. What was all the affectionate leave taking down there? You aren't calling in the police, are you? Not just yet. All right. Up down into the garden. And be careful. You first. Watch out for the traps. I'll poke around with this stick and locate them as we head for the house. Come along, Sparrow. There. You see? What did I tell you? Mm, charming little toys, what? Lucky my things. That stick poked it instead of my foot. Here we are at the house. I'll try this door. It opened right up. It wasn't locked. That's funny. Come on. We didn't look. Let's get inside. Those bolts look funny. There's no knob to turn them with. Never mind that. Come on. There's another door across this room. <gasps> the door. It's closed behind us. I might have known it was another trap. Do you smell that peculiar odor, Sparrow? Gosh. We're being gassed. Let me out of here. Let me out. That's hydroform. A nerve and muscle anesthetic. Feel yourself getting numb? Our minds will work, but we shan't be able to move or, or speak. Oh, we... Uh... Well, my dear Professor, do you think these two are fit subjects for our experiment? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. This blonde one especially. Mm. Well nourished too. Uh, not like some of those rats of the underworld who squeal when they feel the knives bright and sharp. <laughs> uh, doctor, is there any more exquisite sensation than the cold, keen blade cutting into soft flesh? Don't talk nonsense, uh, Professor. Huh? You know we've decided to try that Indian poison this time. Uh? It will be interesting to note the cycle of each pattern and to coordinate the symptoms one by one as the poison begins its work and races through veins and capillaries. And she'll finally paralysis of the heart supervene <laughs> and put an end to their physical resistance oh, yeah. and suffering. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we shall see then if I'm right and whether the brain can feel after the blood has ceased to circulate. Then let's lift them up on the table. Yeah. Uh, come on, I give you a help. Uh, now, pick up the other one. Uh, uh, now, this will be a noble experiment, Professor. Our greatest triumph. Hey, you are right, uh, Doctor. Those others were only tests of our powers. Uh, cover their eyes and switch on the light. Yes. I shall now prepare the hypodermic, Professor. Good, good. I shall make an injection behind the left ear mm -hmm. and another one in the thigh of each one of the patients. Right. Uh, symptoms of cramp and spasm should appear within ten minutes. Uh, place my notebook where I can reach it. Yes, Professor. 
<laughs> uh, you never like fun. You look happy, sir. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> Why bother to sterilize the needles since they will die anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are right, of course. Uh, a foolish survival of long habit. Uh, Such reflex actions are not easily corrected. Uh, you are preparing to use your new antidote? Oh, yeah. I, I wish to test it. Mm. We may be able to bring him back to life afterwards. I'm anxious to discover the utmost delay for the antidote to act efficiently. The hydroform will soon be wearing off. And we can learn from our patients only the effects of the experiment. Good, good. Uh, just swap off this chap's neck when I make the first injection. Yes. Uh, there. And now the other one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the smaller one is sensitive. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Why, you, Our turn will come. Mm, the voices have returned. That, that's good. I told you they were devils. They must be. Did you not ask, my dear? Uh, yeah, but not for long, my friend. No. Not for <laughs> long. <laughs> uh, shall we leave them while the dark starts it well? Oh, yeah. Come, doctor. Yes. We could enjoy ourselves much better. <laughs> to better at my pictures. <laughs> I'm dying. Why did I ever come here? Oh, don't give up hope. Hear those bells? Help is already on the way. What do you mean? I'm a member of the surety. Name of a name. Now I'm as good as dead. Why, you devil crosser? Not at all. We're very grateful to you for showing us this place. You won't be arrested. Those bells tell me my colleague and his men have scaled the wall. They'll be here any minute. But the poison, monsieur. It's already working. I can feel it. But he all will save us. Don't give up hope. I feel the poison too, Sparrow. What's that? That's my colleague. That's Bertillon. In here. Here we are, Bertillon. Oh, hey, Kevin. I am not too late. What have they done to you? They have killed us. Injected some drug which will paralyze our hearts unless we get the proper antidote. From this syringe? Yes. Oh, snap out of it, Ashen Wolf. You're all right. No, no, no. They injected that drug, I tell you. I heard them say they'd kill the others, too. They have caused the death of the others, but they didn't kill them. What? Here, yeah, let me cut your bond. How could they cause the death of the others and not kill them? Imagination. They painted pictures of symptoms so powerfully that the victims were convinced of the reality of the torture and died. But the drugs they gave you. Oh, Ashton Wolf, have you ever been accused of having water in your veins? Well, I should hope not. Well, you could be now. What do you mean? That's what the epidemic injection was, water. Be sure to read the details of H. Ashton Wolf's adventure with the mad scientist when it appears in next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly, the magazine distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. It will be found under the title, New Secrets of the Sûreté, the French Detective Police. This is Wentworth announcing, and turning the microphone over to your own announcer. Thank you.